what's up guys welcome to this tutorial um, in this video i'll be showing you how you can filter your wix table using a drop down element so as you can see i have added a table and i, ha I have also added um, a drop down element and uh, to show you how to add uh, the table you can just head over to the add and then you're going to go over to the list and grid and uh, in that you're going to see subcategory which is tables uh, the first one is repeaters and then the next one is tables so you can just add any of the designs that you want and then customize it i added the first one and then uh, change the customization and to add your drop down element just head over to your add again and then to the input all right so when you head over to the input you're going to go over to the selections and uh, you'll find your drop down element so choose any of the designs you want and customize all right because of this tutorial i'm just going to show you how to filter so i, I won't be showing you how to design this but you can always uh, play around with the uh, customization tools right here okay so next i'll be uh showing you what uh field in my uh, database that i want to be filtered okay so you you can choose any of the fields in your database that you want to use to filter for example you have uh, a, a database with a uh, location or uh places or whatever you're trying to filter and then you can just choose that and add the values to your drop down okay so for me i chose to filter by location this is a restaurant um database and uh, there are different restaurants in different locations okay so they have different cuisines and they have also price range all right so i'm gonna be choosing this uh, field as you can see i only have two options london and uh, worldwide so this is the keywords or these are the keywords that we're going to be using for our drop down values okay so they are case sensitive make sure that this value is the same as in your drop down value the label can be anything but the value must be exactly the same case as you have in your drop down so if you want to be sure just copy and paste any any of these just copy that and uh, paste in your drop down value okay next when you click on the header over to the properties you're going to find the field key okay so this is what you use in your code so you can copy that and uh, use this in your code so i'll be showing you where i'm going to be making use of this so my field key is location okay so let's head back to our page and um, let's start adding content to my drop down okay so the first one is the settings the, we, we need to change the uh, placeholder text to filter by location since that is the field that i'm filtering okay all right so next we're going to remove the required for the field so that it doesn't throw an error when we're trying to clear or when we're trying to do perform other actions okay next to so let's manage the choices and remove the options that we have so since we have only two options which are london we can rename that to london and uh, that is the label guys okay so this can be anything but the value is what you use in your code so it's also case sensitive and make sure that it's the same value as in your database the next one is worldwide and uh, the value again is what you use in your database so you need to make sure that it's just the same okay so we are done with our drop down element next we need to connect our table to the database okay so in order to do that you can just head over to connect to data icon and click that so since we don't have any data sets in our page it's going to prompt you to create a data set okay so i'm going to create a data set from the uh database that i am that i have okay all right so i'm going to choose the database i'm using which is data uh restaurant database so you can rename that to whatever you want but i'm just going to leave mine as restaurant database data set all right so click on the create and it's going to create you a new uh a fresh data set okay so next we're going to again click back on our table and connect to data we're going to choose what data sets we're trying to get our items from so click on the restaurant data set okay so when you do that it's going to automatically pull in your content then next what i want to do is to modify the arrangement of my field so you can see we have the title the image location and price so i want the image to be the first one to appear i want the title next and i also want the price to be the first uh next before the, lo the location field okay so since we're going to be using the location field we're going to be seeing how that works in a while all right so uh next again turn on your dev mode to make use of the wix code so when you do that you can find this panel and uh, let's copy this code 
the link to this code is in the description so if you want to access this code is right there in the description so i'm going to paste that now you've noticed that we have a number of errors right here so i'm going to be showing you how uh, you can change these and uh, make use of your code without any of these errors okay so the first thing you see here is the import weeks data since we're making use of a database we're going to be pulling content from our database so we need to import weeks data okay and then next we have the unready function and uh, we also have um, on change function for the drop down okay so as you can see there are two places where we need to replace the id okay so we have our drop down element which is drop down one but i'm going to change the drop down id to location drop down okay so before i hit the enter i'm just going to copy that first of all and then hit the enter to save and i'm going to change these two um arrows right here with the ids of my drop down okay so this is an unchanged function for my drop down and then i'm assigning a variable to or a, a constant to the value of my drop down element okay so next thing you need to change is to change the field key which is right here so the field key of my database i'm just going to head back there again to show you what the field key is all right since i'm working with the location field i'm just going to click on the properties again and remember, remember the field key is location okay so um the field keys is always different for each of the fields okay so if you want to filter in any of your fields just go head over to the header click on the header and then the properties and if your field key so i'm going to copy the field key for location and then back into my code so i'm going to replace that with uh, my field key which is location and then finally i'm going to replace the id of my data set okay so the data set id is data set one all right so i'm going to replace this one with data set one so i'm going to cancel that and then copy the data set id from right here and paste okay so there are no longer errors in my code and the code is ready to go so uh, i'm just going to publish this website so we can preview these in the live site all right so when you hover over the publish you're just going to find the view site or you can he head over to your site and then view publish site all right so my con the content for my database uh, will display right here and uh, let's start filtering okay so when i click or when i select london you can see that all the london contents with london are displayed and uh, worldwide as well okay so this works perfectly okay so next thing i want to do is to add a reset button just beside here so that the user can be able to choose what uh to you know to start over or uh, with a search or just to leave the blanks okay so let's head over to the decorative and then to icons so you can head over to the more icons and click on the x so i like this more and let's click that let's select that so i'm just going to bring that very close to my drop down and then resize it the same height as my drop down okay next i'm going to uh, change the color to red okay so this is this looks like um, a reset button then i'm going to change the id to uh from vector images to clear filter okay so i'm going to add the clear filter um code just within my already function so as you can see it's within my already function so i'm going to add an on click event for my clear button okay so on, i'm going to add the id and then the on click function all right so this line of code will bring back everything we have in our database and then show it again on the repeater and then the next section is going to remove the values the selected values from our drop down and uh, make it back to bring it back to default okay so i'm going to add my drop down id which is location drop down and i'm going to make the value okay to be equal to undefined okay all right so um that's it so let's uh let's publish this site again and see how that works out all right so i'm just going to refresh the page again and then we have our uh, removal reset filter icon displayed so when we choose on a location for example um the page is still trying to load so this code will work only when the page has loaded okay all right so we have the location and we also have the worldwide 
as you can see this works perfectly and when we click on the reset button it's going to bring back everything back to the default okay so and then the um drop down will let you choose what value again that you want to filter with okay so this is how you set up a drop down element to filter your wix table